All right, now we're gonna sit down and I'm gonna show you my full kitchen setup that I have in my van. Now, it isn't all Ikea stuff, but if I were to redo it today, I'd probably buy everything from Ikea, just everything. And then I'd ask to get sponsored by them so they could pay for the Ram ProMaster or the Ford Transit. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at my kitchen and the setup and all the cool stuff and some cool things that you can get to. Right away, this is the most important. It's also one of my favorite pieces of technology. It's so cool. It's a butane gas stove. It's super portable. This folds in on itself and it comes just this thick. You can see the light causing a glare on the screen. This whole half is so bright. Maybe I can correct that in uh, Adobe Premiere. But you just see, you unlock it. And what's cool is if this is flipped the other way, you can't unlock it. So it's super safe. It's not ever gonna activate itself while you're driving. There's nothing that'll fall on it and activate it. It's locked. And then you just go like this and there you go. And then you can do, of course, different types of max, min. I've had it go to about here before, just if I wanna simmer something. And of course, you do kinda of have to learn cooking techniques when you're using an open flame on a gas stove. It is a bit different. All right, so we've got a beautiful pan here. And by beautiful, I mean, I gotta put in a dishwasher. <laughs> but it's a non-stick, just normal size of saucepan or whatever you call that. Works really well. I like the non-stick stuff because obviously it's way easier to clean. I might consider going for like full ceramic stuff because then it's just so easy to clean and it doesn't have the toxic film that the non-sticks have. All right, this is a cool thing. This is a jet boil. This is kind of an expensive, tiny little stove you can get you just you attach this part to a little propane and then you can boil anything you want on top of here and then it all folds into itself so you, all you got to do is carry this little cup and it's got a handle and a lot of cool stuff it just looks cool it looks like an engine it's cool i guess that's why they call it jet boil hey what do you know i really haven't used it a lot because i've been using this butane stove it's easier but i really do like having this little one just for emergencies and things like that all right well this i just realized had dirt in it but this is a ceramic can better than nonstick, gonna be a lot healthier for you. This as well is a good nonstick pan. I think I got both at Walmart. Like I said before, if I were to redo everything, I would just get full Ikea stuff. It all matches, it's all great. It's probably cheaper than what I paid for these. Neither of these are a full size pan, but I think it's even better to have something that's this type of size. You want portability. Here are the Ikea plates that I talked about. They're actually really heavy. What are they made out of? China, they're made out of China. No, but they're like ceramic or something. It's very heavy. So I wouldn't recommend these old style ones, but the new ones seem a lot lighter and I carry a couple of these. There's more in the cabinets. We got all of our utensils. Here are the awesome Ikea knives that I use. They're just so fantastic. They're really great. Super sharp, everything like that. You can't go wrong if you get the, I think it's $8 knife set. It's perfect. We got our like cooking utensils, things like that. These are actually new. These are awesome, cool type of rubber. I haven't used them yet, as you can see by the tag. Walmart, from Walmart. And of course, the storage we talked about before. Glass Tupperware keeps your food a lot safer. You can reheat things in it. You can do all sorts of things. It's microwave safe. Not that the van has a microwave. I definitely recommend glass ones, but they are really heavy. And like I said before, I will sometimes indulge and be not so good and get disposable bowls or plates. I know. I know. If I'm running really late and I don't want to clean, there you go. Now, if you want the best utensils you can get, I got something for you. Ba boom! Whoa, what is this? Wow, it's a fork, it's a spoon, and it's two of them. Whoa! Here's a can opener and a knife. Whoa, and it, you can put it together and it's got a keychain. This is awesome. Where could I possibly get one of these? on my website yeah you can find one of these on the website along with all bunch of other cool type of things the link is in the description i mean other than the fact that it's useful and you could carry it it can go on like a keychain and stuff other than just being that what really impresses me with it is just how durable it is what high quality it is it's pretty heavy it's got like substantial weight that makes it feel like it's like really sturdy and hurdy I like it. I eat with it all the time. And people always like compliment me on like, whoa, that's cool looking. And I'm like, yeah, at nomadiclife.org. And it all gets packed away nicely in the Ikea cabinets. 
These are from Ikea, too. These are the little dividers that go in these cabinets. They just got everything. And here's a cutting board. I like the Ikea cutting board better because it's so much bigger. This barely lets you cut an onion up, but it's been working so far. Can you guys think of anything that I'm missing from my kitchen? I like to have a kind of minimalist setup just to save space. I hope you guys got some great ideas for what to have in your own kitchen. These are some of the few useful gadgets that I've collected over time. I just love the stove and of course, the spoon fork of ultimate power. Last time I was camping, I had several people ask where I got it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, like and subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll catch you all tomorrow.